Well, and our guest, Metro's Vice Mayor Jim Shulman, it's always good to have him on. Uh, early morning for him, it's going to be a late night because tonight's the Metro Council meeting with a full agenda. We'll get into more of the details. Um, we're taking calls. John, we're going to get to you in just a moment if you'll hold on, the number on the screen. But um, one of the other things that she brought up was the micro mini homes. I'm not yeah. sure. I'm, I'm, I've got to check our archive. I wonder if we've done a story on that in recent weeks. But talk about that and how that's being discussed as an alternative living arrangement yeah. for low income. Well, so there are different alternatives out sure. there. Sure. So I um, happened to see a bunch of pictures from um, and saw some um, different levels of mini homes, micro mini homes. It's not the tiny modular homes, though. Homes. Is it, you know the tiny home. When you think of thing. a tiny home, these are smaller than that. Oh. So okay. um, we actually have some, or at least used to have some out by the mission. And uh, it was yeah, using yeah. Uh, the COVID money to buy these still frame places that were probably... I don't know, they're 40 square feet. Uh, you can get big ones, 100 square feet. And you put a bed in them. They didn't have a bathroom or kitchen, but it was a safe place for people to be. It was a shelter. Um, so I think that's what she's talking about. Um, micro mini homes. Micro mini Green homes. Green Street Church. Yeah, so yeah. they had those. Uh, you've, got some, you've got some bigger um, mini homes out at uh, Villages of Glencliff that was designed for uh, individuals who were experiencing homelessness that were coming out of a hospital and needed a safe place to stay. Gotcha. Those are a little bit bigger. I've seen very small homes. I've seen modular homes. Um, Nick, I saw a um, what is like an RV lot that is just a safe place for people who have RVs that need a safe place just to stay. And they're homeless, but they're living in their RV. And so it's a safe lot someplace, and you have people that, you know, take care of it. And they can uh, mm -hmm. eventually hook into electrical or water lines. Wasn't that an RV park? I mean, it's not like, like an RV I mean, park, well, but, but I mean, it's for people who are experiencing homelessness. So there's no fee involved with that. There's so no you fee can, involved. But then when you say experiencing homelessness, but they've, they've been able to obtain a camper of sorts yeah, they've that got a they camper. can drive. And, they yeah. and there's a lot of folks that uh, have given up on owning a home and are traveling and living out of campers Look, now. we've got people living out of cars. Or and that, we've got kids right. in those cars. Yeah, and yeah, for, that's true. It's again, awful. so for a city like Nashville, yeah. for this country with as much wealth as it has, we do not need to have small children having to live in cars. In cars. And that's just not acceptable. So what, we've got to deal what about with the mini homes that's on tonight's agenda? Well, so we've got four resolutions up. Uh, the mayor went to the uh, ARPA committee, which is uh, uh, spending the Biden administration money that's coming into mm -hmm. the cities because of uh, the pandemic. Uh, the mayor went and asked for $50 million. There's four different resolutions up tonight. Uh, part of it goes to trying to build and leverage funds to build more um, permanent housing. Other is dealing with services. Others dealing with trying to deal with some of our encampments, things like that. Four separate resolutions, $50 million all told. It's up tonight, and if that money is granted, then it's gonna, you're going to see a large amount of money put into trying to deal better with the homelessness That's issue. awesome. And this money is money we already have. It's got to be determined it, to be granted by the council right. it's, to it's, spend on that. It's, it's money coming from the yeah, federal government. we already government. have that. It's federal money. We already money. have it. COVID. Okay. Um, a lot of it's already been spent, but this is a pretty big chunk. And so um, okay. what's been amazing from this is... Um, because I've been a part of some of the discussions, is that the advocacy agencies work with Metro and the mayor's office to try to come up with an overall plan. Now, some of this is going to be, have to be flexible because of things change, but this is um, really directed at trying to target its efforts. And I will say for the first time in a long time, people seem to be together on this and saying, okay, let's go. Yeah, that's and, awesome. and if we can get this stuff done, um, uh, the $50 million is not going to cure homelessness in mm -hmm. Nashville, mm -hmm. but it's a, a step in the right direction, at least I think. And um, what we're going to have to do after that is figure out, okay, where do we go? And, and Linda may be right. I mean, so there are examples already out there in this country about micro homes, modular homes. This RV park was mm -hmm. so interesting to see how it worked. Yeah. We've got to figure out how to, how to make this work. Um, and we have 150 encampments in the city. Yeah, we got a lot of work that. to do. All right, let's go next to uh, John. Waited to the break a bit. John, good morning. Hi, John. Good morning. I'm here. Good morning. morning. Go ahead, sir. Um, yeah, I have uh, more of a statement than a question. But how was uh, Nashville, Davidson County, Tennessee, able to become a member and pay dues to ICLEI, which is Local Governments for Sustainability? Uh, to the United Nations group when we have uh, 
enacted by the General Assembly of the State of Tennessee, uh, there's a Senate Bill 3407, a House Bill 3571, and a House Joint Resolution, which says that uh, to, as used in fact, political subdivision means all state, county, incorporated city, unincorporated city, public, local entity, public private partnership or any other public entity thereof stating that no one is allowed to be a member or pay dues or pretty much yes expend any money for any kind of services for and uh and yes and here we are spending money taxpayer money for this organization hey but what is and what what is it that um the money's going toward what does the organization do i'm not familiar with it Okay, the organization, uh, and I was kind of surprised I talked to your, or she told me it was your friend, Mrs. Uh, Judge Blackburn, had the privilege of speaking with her on this, and she was yes, unaware at the same time. Uh, to implement Agenda 21, it has to do with uh, going sustainable and green. And as I'll just make it simple, I'll just quote, uh, yeah. Mayor John Cooper on this, National Drafted Growth presents both challenges and opportunities to execute strategies that maximize environmental benefit, economic growth, and social outcomes for all. That's why I've made making Nashville a greener, more sustainable city a top priority in my agenda for neighborhoods and families. Okay. Mayor John Cooper. Yeah. Uh, the Race to Resilience will provide a framework and technical support that will facilitate creating a more sustainable, resilient, and livable city for all. That comes from the home page of ICLEI's website. Okay, does that not sound does that not sound good to you? Does that not sound good to you? I'm all for going green. Yeah. But when when our Senate and our House both vote unanimously saying that no one is allowed to spend any kind of money for hmm. and here we are. I would think that our state Senate and our state house would you know take precedence maybe. yeah maybe that that takes all right again um i'm not as familiar with that i don't know how you are yeah but if there's a, a you know a state requirement not to spend money on programs like this and they are i look let's face it i mean a lot of stuff sometimes there's conflict between municipalities and state law yeah I, I don't know about this one it sounds like um, uh, John had spoken to uh, judge blackburn and she didn't know about it either i hadn't heard about this one yeah uh, basic civics yeah. uh, you know local government is um, here state government is here sure. they, they get a preempt what we do federal government is here they get a preempt what the state right, does right so I it's what just you're saying. it's just yeah. what happened so i don't know i don't know what's happened here i can go take a look at it and if money is being spent and on he, that, he referenced um, a senate bill and a house bill yeah i wrote those down uh, so we can check on that uh, yeah i wish it, we knew more john i i'll yeah. have to check on that for you because it sounded like he knew what he was talking about yeah so I, yeah. yeah it may be that there is a potential you know if the senate if the state legislature said you can't do it, and we did it. Uh, we'll hear about it at some point, and John may have just given us a clue. Right. But yeah. I, I do think even you know John's comments is uh, we we do want some sustainability. We that's how we're going to survive. Mm -hmm. um, we got to make our planet sustainable. We'll uh, take a break on that now. When we come back, uh, we're going to talk just about the remaining items on the agenda. If we want to take a few more calls, right after this, our final segment. <laughs> 